All right, so in the last lecture, we left off where we learned how we can use for loops in our turtle module. So the next thing we want to talk about, or I want to talk about, is called um, lifting up our pen, okay? So the way this works is it uses the function called begin fill, end fill, up, and down, okay? So begin fill and end fill are actually a separate um, entity. We'll talk about that in the next lecture. This lecture, I just want to talk about the concept of up and down, okay? So we have this fantastic looking star, and let's say I want to create one more star right underneath it. So I'll say t dot right 90, and I'll get it now downwards. I'll say something along the lines of t dot forward. Hundred, and then I'll go ahead and create my start. So I'll copy this function again. It'll run, and I'll get this cool-looking star. Except the problem is right now both these stars are connected. You have this ugly-looking line. How do I remove this line from sight? Well, this is where the t dot up and t dot down function comes in. So I'm going to go ahead and reset this. Okay, I'm now going to say t dot, uh, or actually. Right over here, you know what? Let's just go t dot left 180. So I'm gonna move back a bit. All right, t dot forward. Let's say, um, let's do 100. Okay, and then let's go ahead and turn back the exact same way. T dot right 180. Again, you just don't do this. I'm just um creating some space on the right hand side. And now I'm gonna go ahead and call this function again. So I call this function, nothing really happens, but we now get this star a little more to the left. So after this is run, we now have this awesome looking start. And now what we can call is the t.up function. And all this t.up does is now if I call a function like t.up forward 100, guess what happens? Our cursor moves or our pointer moves, however, no line is drawn. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this um, 40 pixels more, I guess. So get it out in the open. And now, um, let's go ahead and run this star again. So I run this, and what happens? Ha ha ha, nothing happens. Why? Because I never put the pen down. So now that our pen is in the right position, go ahead, put the t dot down function. So now it's gonna write, and then call this function one last time to get our second amazing square, or star, whatever you wanna call it. All right, so to create, Awesome. So we've now created two cool looking stars and we've made them separate from each other by learning the tier up and tier down functions. Now the next thing or the last thing we're going to talk about. So the next thing we're going to talk about is filling up these colors or filling up an object. For example, if I create a circle, right, and I want to give that circle some color. How does that work? Well, what I can do is um, um, there's a function called begin fill and end fill. And we'll get to those in the next lecture, but I just want to give you a brief introduction that you can use those functions to add color to your objects. If you create a square and you want to give that square a blue color, you can use those begin fill and end fill colors to color up your objects. So we'll talk about those in the next lecture and I'll see you then.